We all have the obligatory files that we'd like to keep private, but how confident are you in your security? This week I'll show you how to protect those extremely private files. When it comes to sensitive information, there's always a fear that it will fall into the wrong hands. We want to protect it. Well, for digital information, the best protection tool is also free. It's called TrueCrypt. What does it do? Let's look at it in terms of physical security at a house. Most people rely on their computer's login password as their main means of security. This is equivalent to the lock on the front door of a house. While it's good for the first line of defense, it's not resistant to back doors or brute force. Those that have sensitive information generally keep it in a safe inside their house. This is equivalent to encrypting the files on your computer. That way, even if someone broke in, there's still another line of security keeping your data safe. But what if someone found a way to break into that? Then they'd have access to all your valuables. Unless, of course, that safe had a hidden compartment that not even the thieves could guess was there. Replicating this scenario on a computer is where TrueCrypt comes into play. You can use TrueCrypt to make a strong encrypted password protected folder, but you can also use it to make a hidden volume inside that folder so that only those that know it exists will know that it's there. Here's how to make it. Open it up and click Create Volume. This opens up the Creation Wizard. Choose the option that best suits you. If you just wanted a regular encrypted folder, leave it on the standard option. And then leave the next option on normal mode. After that, choose the drive that you want to store your encrypted files on. After clicking next, we'll first start creating the outer volume, or the safe. Choose an encryption algorithm to encrypt your files. And if you don't know what that means, just leave it as its default. If you're installing this on a hard drive, you can choose the size for your folder, and then just enter in a main password. Select how you want to format it, and then start moving your cursor around the window really fast and randomly. This helps set a completely random key for your encryption. Then click Format. Open up TrueCrypt, click Select File, and choose the file that you created for encryption. And then click Mount, and enter in your first password that you created. This will mount your files to the virtual drive of the letter that you selected. So here you can put all of your mostly private files.